Um, but anyway, she's going to actually walk us through some of the new features, including uh, some things like, you might have seen uh, to some previews of things like uh, content or where Phil, she's actually going to show you, showcase this actually in, in uh, practical implementation. Katrina? Okay, thank you. I am a real user. And um, I was only this tall when Photoshop came out. Okay, so what's interesting about uh, working with the Adobe team when they develop new features is I actually go back to my old images and I see if I can make them better. Okay, so I've got this shot and, you know, I never liked that this little girl ran through the picture. So now I cannot like her very quickly. So I don't like that she's in this image, so I'm just going to make this really rough selection. Okay, you can see that I'm not taking a lot of time on that. And so, you know what? Bye-bye. I hit the delete key. with a 10.5 millimeter lens. Look at this. There's now profiles for your lenses. I'm going to click OK and new lens correction that actually works. Okay? So we like that. Okay. Now I do a lot of traveling and so I like shooting like background plates or composites, etc. So I was in Italy. It's a beautiful scene except for all this graffiti. I mean, look at this. Even someone in German, in the Hoffnung auf der Ewigkeit, in the hope for eternity. Don't write it on Italian sculpture, okay? So, what you can do is, before I use the content aware fill in the background layer, you can also use it on a standard layer by shift delete, bringing up the standard fill dialog box, and just get rid of it. But, Oh, that's okay, you probably could have done it with the clone tool, but this is cool. Look at this, we've got graffiti over everything in this image. Katrina, can actually point out that I've actually taken a little German and I can actually really? translate that for you. If you read that translated, it says, please buy CS5. It did call for I'm not sure I want to take that out, but if you wanted to show the demo and then go back. Well, this is with pre-release, they actually broke the NDA. Okay, great. Okay. So, I'm going to uh, get the spot, aware, spot healing brush, choose content aware fill, and check this out. Just literally stroke, take everything out. Okay? It doesn't even matter. I'm just shaking a little bit too much coffee. And I'm not going to make you watch me while I clean the whole thing up. This is fast. So, all you retouchers, restoration people, the cracks in the old photos, don't let anybody see how quickly you can work now. <laughs> and finally, you know how clients are and art directors are. Once they see what you can do, they're like, couldn't you? Wouldn't it be great? And you're like, of course. So, the story is here, it's like, you know, we don't really like those earrings. Fine. Spot healing brush. Well, let's just take them out. I'll go right over the shadows. Not a problem. Okay, then once they see that, they're like, you know, we never really liked that bathing suit. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> you know, I don't need another uh, uh, Janet Jackson uh, wardrobe malfunction here, so this is a PG-13 PG maybe audience. Uh... And I'm not Justin Timberlake. Okay. <laughs> what I'm going to do is I'm just going to make this bikini more comfortable, because this, uh, this big clasp here would be very uncomfortable to lie down on. So, let's just redesign the bikini. Okay? So, what's amazing about this is, the frightening thing is, is once they see what you can do, they're like, take it all off. Okay? And for stock photography, lots of times, they don't want things like jewelry in the image. So, I just have to retouch that little bit of wrist now. And you can see, even though I've been talking, how quickly I went from this to this. 45 seconds. And the thing is, is I've been working a long time with Photoshop. There's features that demo well, and there's features that actually let you get work done. And I really feel this is one of them. Excellent, thanks for being
Then there's fill, and now there's content-aware fill. Now it can help you a lot in your workflows.